What actor slash actress instantly ruins a movie for you? She doesn't ruin, but I audibly groan whenever she shows up. Gwyneth Paltrow. Is it the goop? It's the goop, isn't it? Edit, what's goop? Be quiet and insert these jade eggs into your yeasty, loose vagina. Ugh goo wah wah nasty. And it's not the way she's acting, or the job she's picked to do, though they're both a bit distracting, and she's pitched a shitty few, and it's not the film she's taking, or the way she fakes her part, and it's not the face she's making, a large oh I smell the fart, and it's really not another, nor the same old role on loop, no it's something else. My brother. My sister in fake taxi. Every time I read fake taxi my brain goes to cash cab. I would be down for a crossover episode. You have to answer trivia questions while getting railed. That's not a bad idea. Or the Japanese version, you have to answer trivia correctly or else your so gets railed edit, stop upvoting this, my gf knows my reddit username. My wife and I have a name for this, a stop actor. An actor that is so bad, you stop watching, no matter what the film is. Oh look, it's The Godfather Part 4. Yeah, but Steven Seagal's in it. Ah. Never mind. The opposite is a go actor, who is so watchable you'll watch anything they're in. Danny DeVito, Joan Cusack, Jess Plemons, Lenny James, etc. The description of the film could be two men sit down and do nothing for two hours, and I'd still watch it if it was Danny and Jess. I'm gonna get real weird with it. Beyonce Hollywood is determined to make her a leading lady but her acting is just awful. Casting her as Nala was a mistake. Maybe as Simba's mom, but not his love interest. I couldn't get past it. The entire cast of that movie was nothing more than a game of how many big names can we get instead of focusing on quality. IDK John Oliver as a neurotic bad made sense. Except the part where they cut his song because he can't sing. I thought he was perfect voice wise, but if you have a part that involves singing don't cut the song because the actor can't sing. Hire an actor who can sing in the first place. Didn't the original Lion King hire different voices for singing and acting? Which they should keep doing. Stop making non-singer actors sing. Cardi B on the new upcoming Fast and Furious movie, yikes. Brother even bringing back Paul Walker somehow. It's so disgraceful. Looks like Paul Walker has dated underage 16 years old girls twice. He was in his 30s at the time. Yikes. They just need to stop making them. Not until F and F13 which is a shot for shot remake of Armageddon, but instead of oil drillers it is a street racing gang. They're going to race around on the surface of the asteroid, causing it to disintegrate. No, they need to deliver bombs to strategic points on the asteroid to destroy it completely. It's dynamic though, so they need to be able to make rapid changes to the locations of the bombs, while still avoiding the natural obstacles of the asteroid. The Rock will be in a meeting, where the asteroid is discovered. He will nominate Dom's crew to do the job. NASA explains they are needed to quickly distribute the bombs once they land, and compute the optimal placement and only skilled drivers can navigate the asteroid. At the end Dom has to stay behind in his car, to set off the first bomb. As he does successfully his car is thrown into Earth's atmosphere, where he survives re-entry, by using his hood as an ablative shield. He then matches the angle of a steep mountain road, where he travels down the mountain running out of brakes and popping tires. Eventually he ends up in front of a South American bar on the side of the road, where Letty is waiting for him with the corona. John Travolta post 2000. As soon as I see him, I know him and for a mediocre performance at best. I actually thought he was pretty good in the Odge Simpson trial show American Crime Story. That show surprised me on the, the quality. I thought he was very good in that. I was actually a little disturbed with how shitty he looked though. I thought he had some bad plastic surgery. Until I saw a real photo of Robert Shapiro, and realized that they just nailed it with the Macube. Amy Schumer but thank god she's not in much. Straight to DVD now. Thank goodness. Really? 
she kind of passed me by anyways, but it seems like only yesterday I was seeing articles about her being the next big thing. Same with Lena Dunham, I guess. Tinseltown sure eats them up fast. Dunham probably would have continued, being a rising star, if she wasn't so far up her own ass. Or her sister's vagina. Lena Dunham. I cannot stand anything about her, from that stupid pinched face to her insufferable attitude to the pitch of her voice. Honestly if she could just not be in anything again, ever, that'd be nice. A friend of hers accused another friend of hers of sexual assault and Lena Dunham straight up lead to defend him. She then admitted it, and apologized but fuck off. Don't build your entire brand around being a feminist, and then pull this shit. To her feminist, is just a cool sticker, to put on her Mac. Johnny Depp used to be interesting, but now it's a lot of the same. I still have no idea why he was cast in Black Mass. He looks slash looked nothing like Witty and he didn't embody Witty's real spirit. I think Jack Sparrow truly broke him. He came out of that role forever changed. Like, he had an epiphany along the lines of I'm Jack Sparrow. This character is me. He feels forever unhinged since, to me. Both on screen and off. Edit, point given, guys. It's not Jack Sparrow that started it. I still think it was a point of no return with a drunk carefree pirate who gave little fucks. They should have kept that at two movies only honestly. It's so overdone, and in a way ruined Depp to I think three. Black Pearl, Dead Man's Chest, and World's End were phenomenal. Stranger Tides and Dead Men Tell No Tales were horrendous. The first three were directed by Gore Verbinski. That's why they felt like pirates movies. The others were different directors, and felt like they were pretending to be pirates movies. Bella Thorne. She's pretty good at scream, when she dies in the first 5 minutes edit, I can't believe my highest upvoted anything is about Bella Thorne edit 2, my first award on a post about Bella fucking Thorne. Thank you so fucking much. Bella Thorne is Drew Barrymore? No. She's in the terrible Scream TV series, where it's 5% horror, 95% teenagers in their 30s talking about their relationship issues. I just scrolled through this and realized noticed I hadn't seen Cara Delevingne yet. I'm not sure if she even counts as an actress given how she's awful in everything I've seen her in. She's an example of someone having enough connections in Hollywood to bypass any need for talent. She was. Okay in that Amazon series. But Valerian was awful Suicide Squad W as awful. Cara Delevingne's godfather is the chairman of Condnast, a mass media corporation, and the man who had final say on what talent was used or promoted for Vogue and other fashion magazines. Literally from day one, she was silver spooned into being a model, and, uh, actress. The Rock, he may be a good actor, but whenever I see him in a movie it just feels like he plays himself. Maybe it's the writer's fault though for not writing good characters for him. I like The Rock as a motivational person. I think he's a genuinely good dude. I think his range is shoehorned based on directors, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. They are mostly cheesy action movies, but I still find myself enjoying them. I think some of my favorite Arnold movies today include the ones where he's not some military commando, or he's a military commando doing not military commando things. I still like the movies in which he's a military commando doing military command things, and or a robot. Kindergarten Cop was a delight and I did not expect to enjoy it as much as I did. Beyonce. Beyond Kane Lion King was so cringe. Let's go Lions. Or some shit like that, I just do off. Are you with me Lions? I work at a movie theater and a coworker had told me about this, before I saw it, and I didn't think it could be as bad as she said it was, but I wasn't expecting it to be that bad. 